I think that of all of the sports that we cover regularly here, in the midst of this pandemic, it is college football that faces the most complicated questions in its attempt to return. And we will try and get some of those answers as we are delighted to bring in the head football coach at South Carolina, Will Muschamp, is with us. And, Coach, thanks so much for doing this. And, you know, I, I was hearing – I heard you talking on a radio show recently about how the players – are going to need some time before they can even start any sort of football training once they return to campus. And it fascinated me. I was hoping you could briefly explain that for our audience that, that probably hasn't thought about this. Well, Mike, first of all, thanks for having me on. Um, I, I do think it's, it's, it's different. I hear all, everybody talking about, well, it's just like it used to be. Uh, people are going to come in August 1st uh, and report for training camp and be ready, and that's not the case. 30% uh, of my team has access to weights right now. So we have guys that don't have the access to the same things. High schools aren't open. Gyms aren't open. Some things are reopening in different spots, uh, but it's not like it used to be. So you've got to take the assumption that, uh, you know, guys haven't done anything, and I think it's going to take at least eight weeks to get them ready to play. Eight weeks total. So, so that was going to be my next question. So just for the sake of discussion, if you were to get them on campus, before they could start doing their football work, you'll need to do something to get them into the shape to do that, and then eight weeks total until you think you could play a game? I think the, the, first, uh, the, the whole first month needs to be dedicated to, to strength and conditioning and then be, us being able to meet with our guys, and then, and then you can ease into training camp. <clears throat> Okay, fair enough. And then so then four weeks more for the training camp and then you can start your season. So, you know, earlier this morning we heard from James Franklin at Penn State about the idea of a conference playing when not all schools are able to. Now, the SEC spans across 11 different states. So if some are able to and others aren't, when we get to September, Coach, what should we do? Well, I'm going to lean to our Commissioner Sankey, and he's, he has said we're going to be unified in what we do at the Southeastern Conference, and that's all I can say from that standpoint. And I think that's what it needs to be. I think, you know, maybe some staffs will be able to come back earlier than some other staffs, uh, but, but we got to let those things play out. But we're going to be unified as a conference in the Southeastern Conference. Another thing that came up, there was a regent from the University of Minnesota who suggested the other day that all of these things that are happening now could eventually spark the Power Five conferences from breaking away from the NCAA. It's hardly the first time that's come up. In your view, would something like that, in the long run, be a good thing or a bad thing for your sport? Well, again, I'm going to let somebody else make that decision, but not named Will Muschamp. So <laughs> I'm going I'm to let somebody else make that call. I get that. What, 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 I, I can tell that you don't feel like talking about this, and I get it. You have other things on your mind right now. But I, I do wonder, when you hear all this sort of conversation, what impact does it have on you? What impact does it have on programs? What impact does it have on players when these are the kinds of questions people are talking about on television when they get up in the morning? Well, I, I really don't think it has a whole lot of effect on any of us that are, that are you know, the coaches and the players and the people that are involved. Uh, you know, do I think that there needs to be some sort of football czar over uh, college football? I think that that would certainly help. I think it would unify a lot of different things on a lot of different levels. Uh, but, again, that's not my decision. And I guess one last thing here before we pull a little surprise on you. What kinds of questions are you hearing from your players, not necessarily related to this, but related to the pandemic and related to the possibility of return and the possibilities involving the season being um, delayed and things like that? What, what, what concerns are you hearing your players having right now? Well, Mike, the big thing right now is just the uncertainty. I, our guys just keep asking, when, Coach? When can we come back to campus? They're eager to get back on campus, and I'm really proud of how they've handled this whole situation, the online classes, all the different things we've had to do. We just finished exams yesterday, so we're going to start back some position meetings today. But it's just the answer is when. When are we coming back? And uh, when you keep answering, I don't know, it gets frustrating because there's a lot more questions there are answers right now for our guys. Yeah, I guess that's the truth for everybody. I know we want to do, uh, bring someone into the conversation that you know well. And to do it, we have a little eye candy for you. As we bring Marcus Spears in, in case anyone is wondering, oh, do Marcus Spears and Will Muschamp know each other? Do we have that tape here, guys? I'd love to show it. Here it is. Look, there's Coach Muschamp getting fired up. And watch Swagoo. Look at this. Show me the chat. Look at this. How about that? Swagoo, he sort of stopped you dead in your tracks right there. That's Take me through that moment, Marcus Spears. G, G, because of that hit right there, I'll never have a heart attack in my life. <laughs> my heart will beat for the rest of my life. Must have come out. We called that. So, funny, quick funny story. Champ, go laugh on this one. So, I switched over from tight end to defensive end. 
Uh, Will was the DC. I remember him and Nick Saban huddling around me, trying to get me to come out of my hips. That's what we used to say when we wanted a guy to punch and knock people back on the offensive line. You got to come out of your hips. So Muschamp had had a lot of practice showing me how to come out of my hips. So i never forget, we make a play in that game and we run it off and, and Champ get hyped now. This is when we were, we were all like new to this whole thing and we rolling and winning and all of that. And Champ punched me so hard in my chest. And when I got to the sideline, I didn't realize how hard he had hit me. I had to sit down and catch my breath. But at that moment, I could not fall down and act like something bad had happened. <laughs> Uh, Coach, I need your help here because I've gotten yeah. to know Marcus so well over these last two years. He's been with me regularly and he's become a very dear friend. How do you keep this fellow under control? Because I, I have to tell you, I find it impossible. Uh, there, there are no ways that I've been able to come up with about how hard I've tried to sort of keep Marcus in, 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 in control and in check. What, as his coach, what did you do? Well, um, we did. We wanted him to be play out of control. That was that was part of the deal. But that was a huge day for us in Oxford, Mississippi. Uh, we we clinched the SEC uh, West that day on to winning the Southeastern Conference in the national championship. Marcus was a great player on a great defense, the best defense in ball that year. And uh, really, really, that was a huge, huge game for us there. Was he impossible to deal with? Just to tell the truth, because I mean, I can see it here. Was he impossible <laughs> to deal with? No, Marcus was easy. He was he, he was easy to deal with. Very bright, very smart. Uh, really a gifted guy. He claims he was offered basketball scholarships to to some of the blue buds in, oh, in college go. basketball. But I'm not sure about that. I, 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 I don't know about that. I've seen him play, and I'm not sure about that. Coach, I appreciate you doing this. Marcus, we all do. Uh, Will Muschap, thank you very much. Stay safe. We look forward to seeing you and your players back as soon as possible. Thanks for doing this, Coach. Mike, thank you. Spearsy, take care.